In this lesson, we'll overview the general multivariate Gaussian detection model, and we'll present a pre-processing method that will convert any situation to a common form for the detector. Well, in general, a multivariate Gaussian hypothesis test will decide between two Gaussian models. For hypothesis zero, we'll have a mean mu0 and a covariance matrix C0. And for hypothesis 1, we'll have a mean mu1 and a covariance matrix C1. Now in any situation, we can always subtract off the mean for hypothesis 0, which will convert our problem to one in which the mean for hypothesis 0 is now 0, and the mean for hypothesis 1 is the difference between the original means. Subtracting this constant vector doesn't affect the covariances, so the covariances remain the same. Next, we could consider the eigenvalue eigenvector decomposition for the covariance for hypothesis 0. And if we use the orthonormal matrix of eigenvectors to rotate the transformed data, then the covariance for hypothesis 0 will be the diagonal matrix of eigenvalues for the original covariance matrix. The mean for hypothesis 1 will be the corresponding rotation of the difference between the original means, and the new covariance for hypothesis 1 will be the corresponding transformation of the original covariance for hypothesis 1. Then, we could multiply by a diagonal matrix that is the square root of the reciprocal of the eigenvalues along its diagonal. By doing so, the covariance for hypothesis 0 would become an identity matrix so that we'll have the whitened data under hypothesis 0. The mean for hypothesis 1 will be, the trans will be transformed accordingly, as will the covariance. Now this covariance for hypothesis 1, which is determined by the two original covariances, we can now denote as a modified covariance matrix C. And we could decompose it into its matrices of eigenvectors and eigenvalues. And then we can rotate the transformed data by multiplying with the orthonormal matrix of eigenvectors. And this would result in the covariance for hypothesis 1 being the diagonal matrix of eigenvectors for the transformed covariance. And the mean for hypothesis 1 will be transformed accordingly. In summary, the pre-processing steps are to first remove the mean for hypothesis 0, and then decorrelate the data for hypothesis 0 by multiplying with the matrix of eigenvectors for the original covariance for hypothesis 0, and then whiten the data for hypothesis 0 by scaling the data by the square root of the eigenvalues for the covariance for hypothesis 0, and finally, using the eigenvectors for the modified covariance matrix for hypothesis 1 to decorrelate the data for hypothesis 1. And because the data for hypothesis 0 already had a mean of 0 and an identity covariance matrix, this orthonormal transformation will not change either of those. Now if we call this transform mean vector mu, then we can express any multivariate Gaussian detection problem as one in which the mean for hypothesis 0 is 0, the covariance for hypothesis 0 is an identity, and the covariance for hypothesis 1 is a diagonal matrix which corresponds to the uncorrelated elements with possibly different variances. Now to illustrate these processing steps, it's sometimes helpful to envision a two-dimensional Gaussian density similar to the one shown here. Now to represent the general form of this density, we might show an ellipse that represents the two-dimensional equivalent of plus or minus three standard deviations away from the mean. Well, the important thing about this ellipse is that it shows the relative spread and orientation of this density. Now, using this idea, suppose the red ellipse represents the density for hypothesis 0, and the green ellipse represents the density for hypothesis 1. If we subtract the mean for hypothesis 0, then we'll move both ellipses by the amount that moves the ellipse for hypothesis 0 to the origin. Then if we rotate the density for hypothesis 0 so that it's uncorrelated, we'd get, we'd get a corresponding rotation for the 
ellipse corresponding to the density for hypothesis 1, and the result would look something like this. Then if we scale the data according to the eigenvalues for hypothesis 0, we'd see something like this. And finally, if we rotate the data to decorrelate for hypothesis 1, we'd get something that looks like this. In general, then, we can always perform these operations and transform any multivariate Gaussian hypothesis test into one that looks like a zero mean identity covariance for hypothesis zero and some potentially non-zero mean and an uncorrelated covariance for hypothesis one. Now, accordingly, the density for hypothesis zero will look like this, and the density for hypothesis one will look like this, with a mean mu and a cover diagonal covariance lambda. The likelihood ratio test then would look like this, which in terms of the individual data values and the individual elements in the diagonal covariance and the mean vector would, might look like this, or we could rearrange terms and it would look like this. Now sometimes we'll have several independent realizations of the observed random vector, and when that happens, we can pre-process each of those so that the resulting test statistics looks like this, where capital N is the number of independent realizations. In general, then, analyzing the performance for this detector would be a difficult task, but in subsequent lessons, we'll show how to approach some special cases.